Hello, Miss Dayan. I'm J. Casamari J. Villanueva from Baba Tubi, and this is my Antim examination video. First question How do you compute for inflation rate using the basket cost and consumer price index? Discuss each step and include the formula in the discussion. First, I'm going to explain what is a basket cost and consumer price index. So, the basket cost is the total amount paid by the customers for the products that they bought in a certain period. On the other hand, the consumer price index is the price of the weighted average market basket of consumer goods and services purchased by households. Now, let's proceed to the question. How do we compute inflation rate using basket cost and consumer price index? First, I'm going to give you the formula of the inflation rate using the basket cost and the consumer price index. Inflation rate is equal to C2 minus C1 over C1 multiplied to 100. C2 is the market basket cost of the current year, while C1 is the market basket cost of the base year. I'm going to show you an example beside me. First, we're going to compute the 2019 market basket cost, which is our base year, and then the 2020 market basket cost, which is our current year. In computing the market basket cost of the base year and the current year, we're just going to multiply the quantity to the price of the base year, the same with the quantity and the price of the current year. We must remember that the quantity in the CPI is fixed. After getting the market basket cost of both the base year and the current year, we're now substituting our numbers to the formula. C2, which is the current year, less than C1, which is our base year, over C1. And then we must multiply it to 100 so that we can get the inflation rate. Now, we already know the inflation rate using the basket cost and consumer price index. Now, let's proceed to question number two. How do you use tax in addressing inflation and recession? First, I'm going to discuss what are the causes of inflation and recession. Inflation is the overall increase of prices in the economy. Increase in consumer spending is also equals to increase in demand. This is the reason why some business sectors or why all most of the business sectors are increasing their prices. While on the other hand, recession is the significant decline of the economy. It is a result of the unemployment, the less consumer spending, because of course there is no income in the household. The businesses go bankrupt, also people lose their homes, and young people can't get a job after school. So how does tax address recession and inflation? During recession, the taxing authorities decreases the tax rate in order for the people to spend more than what they spend during recession and of course for the business to produce more products and services. On the other hand, the taxing authorities during inflation increases the tax rates in order for the people, of course, to spend less than what they spent before and for the businesses to decrease their prices. This will lead to the decrease in inflation. Now, let us proceed to the last question. How does BSPU's reserve requirement rates to address recession and inflation? Just like the taxing authorities address the recession and inflation, the BSP also combat recession and inflation by decreasing or increasing interest rates. In terms of recession, decreasing interest rates means that people can borrow money from the banks 
and businesses can also borrow money to increase their investment and for the people to increase their spending. Increasing spending is equals to additional economic growth. On the other hand, the BSP combat inflation by increasing interest rates. And why is this so? Increasing interest rates means that people, consumers, or businesses borrow less money. The less money they have, the less spending they do. This will leave no choice to the businesses to lower their prices that will lead to the decrease in inflation. That's the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching.